Welcome to this episode of Door Hardware Nerds. I'm your host, Mia Merrill. Today, I'm joined by Kevin Waring. Kevin, please introduce yourself. Thanks, Mia. Great to be back here again. So everybody, my name is Kevin Waring, Director of Business Development for Norton & Rickson. Been in the industry for, for over 15 years now and, and happy to be back on a, another segment here uh, for the Door Hardware Nerds. Well, we are very glad to have you back with us. All right, let's talk about, uh, what about if you need a slim operator? What do we have? Well, you know, it's, it's funny. We, we looked at the marketplace a couple of years ago and said, gosh, it's, it's an area that the, the aesthetics are, are really missing and, and lagging. What, what can the Norton team come out with that's going to have a good benefit for this? And um, we developed our 6300 series power operator to be a slimline device. And it sits only with the cover on it, two and three quarter inches high. So it's a very slim profile. Typically, as an industry standard, you're looking at an operator that pretty boxy, pretty big, six inches high, maybe 28 inches or 32 inches off centered on the door. Here we took a nice slimline approach and said, how can we make this architecturally pleasing? And, and what, what is the driver, the, the market or the channel that we're really looking for? So we think of the aluminum storefront. Now we took a product that will go frame edge to frame edge. It's slimline, only sits at two and three quarter inches high. And it really blends in with that opening. So it's a nice architecturally pleasing uh, look to it. And if you think of areas where maybe there's a, a set of stairs that you're coming down, think of hotel lobbies or conference rooms that would lead into another door. You're not looking at the, the back end of a, a six inch high power operator through that aluminum storefront channel. Um, so great opportunity for there. And also, if we think of that, that space where it's going, you don't need a whole lot of space to go ahead and mount that. So it'll mount typically right on top of that aluminum frame with no issues. So that's, that's where I would look for that is that, that slimline 6300 power operator. Okay, I'm going to throw another problem at you. Yeah. Uh, what if I have a double door or a corridor doors? Yeah, so, you know, we, we, we have two different operators that, that can work in that space. The 6300, that's slimline, we have available for the double egress arm option for, for corridor doors in a hospital. Um, and the way that we would do that for a double door set is you would mount two of them um, to, to operate that. So they would be mounted side by side on one side of the opening with double swing arms for the, the double egress. But if we upgrade up to our 6000 series, and that's our more robust uh, power operator in the lineup, um, that has a full double door solution for multiple sizes, all under one continuous cover. However, I say one continuous cover, and, and how do we do that? Because I just talked about a single technician install, right? Um, we're able to do it in a modular component where it looks like one seamless continuous cover and it, it mounts and, and covers basically both operators that it's operating. So a nice solution with that double door 6000 series that we launched recently. Okay, last problem. Yeah. What if I have a low ceiling clearance and I can't mount something above the door? You know, you, we, we run into that more often than, than you would think. And, you know, oftentimes we have that low ceiling uh, clearance, or, or, or maybe we even have obstructions above the opening. Maybe there's pathway lighting or conduit around a, an opening where you can't mount a traditional power operator. Uh, so we, we have a product called the Norton 5800, or, or at one point in time was known as the ADA EZ. In fact, we still reference it that every day. The unique solution with the ADA EZ or the 5800 is that it's the only power operator that mounts to the door, um, very similar to the way that the door closer would mount. Um, and in its configuration, the way that we have it today, you have two different ways that you can go ahead and power that unit. In some applications, it can be a fully sustainable product and a green product to where it's, it's a battery solution. And as long as you have a certain amount of openings per day and a certain amount of ratios for openings manually versus automated, we have a 10 million test cycle on this, which we would say would equate to a 10 year lifespan of this battery. Now, it's important that everybody knows that there's ratios. So if you're looking at that solution for sustainable, please contact your local DSS or your business development team, and, and we'll be happy to talk you through that. But the other way that it comes is a, um, uh, we have a plug-in transformer that keeps that unit powered. So two different ways to power it up, but it really helps you to overcome those, those unique solutions like a low ceiling clearance or obstructions above the frame or the opening there. So, you know, just a, a unique space that's out there. It's been a, a very popular and, and very uh, robust product for us. All right, wonderful. Any final thoughts you wanna share with us today? 
No, I, I think that's great. I, I appreciate being uh, invited back to this segment. I look forward to, to multiple uh, segments coming up in the future. And uh, I, I thank you for having me today. Yeah, well, we appreciate you being here with us again. Below, you'll find the link for the Norton Door Controls website, where you'll be able to find all the information you need about all the operators Kevin mentioned today. Uh, if you are interested in any of the products we talked about uh, and don't know how to reach out, I've included a link to your local DSS office. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, everybody.